Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to be testing out Pike versus Lissandra. Up first, let's go over those star powers. So game start, grant Mariner's Ruse to four random allies. When you get the attack token, grant it to two more. So this is a really fun star power. You can really influence this by trying to get more attack tokens. So you want to keep a lookout for any rallies you can get or anyone with scout that can really help you out. Now Mariner's Ruse, this is a item that's going to go on your cards, well, your units, and it's going to give that unit 1-1 one, one, and Lurk, it is now a Lurker. So this is a good way to just make sure your entire deck is Lurkers so you can consistently get that mechanic off. Now we also have the plus one starting mana. When ally dies, create a random Lurker that costs one more in your deck and grant it 1-1. One, one. So every time one of your Lurkers dies, you're able to kind of recycle them into potentially a stronger unit, which is pretty solid. Now for the relic builds we're going with, we're going with Pact Powder and Scourge's Stash. So this both have Plunder, I cost two less. So we can get Pike down to a one cost, which is pretty solid. And then we also can get some Scaling, which is also quite nice to have. And we also have the Beast Within. So Power, allies have Overwhelm, and if they have a subtype, 1-1. One, one. Now Lurker is a subtype. So pretty much our entire deck is going to have this subtype or be granted it from our Star Powers. So essentially all of our units are going to get 1-1. One, one really nice and then they're also going to get that overwhelm which is pretty important for pike now if you appreciate all the daily path of champions content definitely like and subscribe and let's get into it all right let's see kale with a lurker already not too bad i think kale plus the empower could be really good actually and yeah, we could probably buff her up quite a bit so let's actually go here could be pretty fun stacked against them some cost reduction yeah, I think let's go ahead and grab this. That could be, again, pretty solid to get some of our more expensive units out earlier. With Pike, we want to be very aggressive, so we don't play more cards every round. Could help us out. All right, shop, double attack, immediately buying that. Yes, that's amazing. Uh, the list... Yeah, we'll buy one copy of that, especially since we are going to get this in our opening hand. Another free attack, Lurker. We're probably going to buy that. That is tough. We like it doing that free attack. So I don't know if I also want this to have a Reckoner's Mark on it. That's a little difficult. Yeah, I think we probably don't want to do that. The free attack is really important just to get that Lurk off. Elusive Pike is pretty good, but I think two cost Kale, getting her down to a three cost. I think I'm actually going to go for this, although that's 300. If we buy that, we can't get like the Hatchling or another free attack unit. Yeah, I think let's still get that, make our Kale a little bit more playable. All right, so we got some pretty decent upgrades. All right, so we have a champion item chest down here that is tempting. We have it that stares, the Inquisitor, and she who wanders. We probably actually want to avoid she who wanders, so let's not go for the top route. Lissandra has secrets hidden by Frost. I think let's try to go down here in the dot uh, bottom. Champion item chest, really nice to have. And then we can kind of make a decision right here if we want to go up for the Inquisitor or go down for it that stares. So up first, Heart of the Fluffet, and Frost Gathers. All right, we can get rid of this one. Might actually hold on to the Harpoon. That could be pretty good. And yeah, let's get rid of that. All right, pretty sad we didn't get any of our cheaper units. But I guess we can just play Kale round one. Uh, we could go for the list. I think we'll just attack for now.
All right, so we'd like to get some plunder off for get our pike on the board, but might not be the case. Uh, let's play this here. Then we'll play this to buff up our other unit. Oh, I didn't want to toss those cards. Oh, well. All right, so here we can play our swarm first. Try to get our plunder off so we can then attack the pike. All right, awesome. We might actually save this. Let's, I think, open attack. And go ahead and see what they do. All right, so we're able to kill that one. And we can kill that one right there. Although, if we hit this one, we can potentially end the game right here. All right. GG. Pretty solid so far. One cost, deal four to an enemy that attacked this round or is stunned. Round start, heal me and your Nexus one. So one problem with having more spells in our deck is these don't get lurk. And so they can't actually really help with our lurk effect because the top card in our deck has to be a lurker. So I think I'll actually go for the Cosmic Youngling. Granted, the Blood Weaver, we would actually be able to buff this up to a pretty crazy level. I guess we'll... Hmm. I think we'll actually grab this just in case this could uh, help us in the very end against like Lissandra or something. Kind of a really good game finisher. Hopefully we never need it, but could actually be solid. All right, everything already has Overwhelm. Let's go ahead and give Pike Deathless, I think. All right, item chest, gold chest. Don't want to deal with Rhyme Tusk. That's really an annoying power, especially for our type of deck. So let's go up here for the Sage. And at last, they awaken. Uh, we'll reroll this. And I think we can hold on to the rest. The double attack is super nice to have. Alright, so we don't have the attack, and we won't be able to block that. We might actually want to save and play our Kale when we can get a bit of a heal off. So we can play this first. Alright, we'll play the Swarm first. We can try to get our... Uh, pike on the board. Although, well, they could have blocked this. Let them see me, not you. They thought they were safe. <laughs> All right, let's actually give this one we want to be sure our sharkling can try to strike and survive so one of them will be able to survive at least all right so good amount of damage destroying most of their units Grab this so it can start buffing up other units. Humanity's darkest hour demands 
my return. I'll show you how it's done. All right, so we will go ahead. We'll fizzle this attack because we're going to get recalled and we won't actually be able to kill that. So let's go over here. And yeah, I think we want our Sharkling to survive. We're just going to rely on the lifesteal and heal we're going to get from Kale. So we could drop our pike again. I think we'll hold off at the moment. Alright, so good amount of damage. All right, so I think now with our pike, we could just completely wipe the board. So that's good to have in our back pocket. We won't do that at the moment, but if things get out of hand. On wings of fire, hope ascends. Now double attack Kale, or at least we will soon. <laughs> So we'll wait to see what they end up doing. My gifts cannot be refused, for they are not given. Alright, that's fine. We're just gonna wait to see how they attack. Or they don't attack. Alright. So we're gonna attack with our pike first. That way, if he gets any kill, he's gonna kill absolutely everything. And since everything has overwhelmed, their attacks won't get fizzled. GG. Alright, gain more of these in our deck. Wonderful. The attune is fine, but we care more about the copies. Uh, Bloodbait. Yep, that's decent. All right, so Bone Scryer, and at last they awaken. This will be interesting. All right, let's get rid of a couple of these. That formidable is pretty much going to counter our our lurk. That's a little bit sad. Oh, that gave us our plunder right immediately. I didn't think about that. That's awesome. Interesting. Let's increase that cost. Alright, so they have regen. We're going to end up hurting our nexus a lot here. But we just need to get Lurk off and we need to try to get as much damage down as we can. Let's go ahead. We can get that strike off. Alright, not too bad. In the name of the Solari. Will tell. All right, so not great, but at least we're not taking too much damage.
All right, perfect. So we'll be able to play our Pike again. By the strength of our convictions. Oh, this is actually like the perfect thing for it to play. All right, increase the cost of that again. All right, so he's going to kill this and then kill the other one. Perfect. This would be a good amount of damage. Alright, so they don't have a lot of cards left, and we know two of their cards are very expensive. Okay. By the strength of our convictions. But that should just be game. Hope alive. GG. So Hush is again difficult. It's a spell, but it is a very good spell. So I think we'll risk it. It might mess with our Lurk, but yeah, I think it's worth getting. So if it wasn't a champion item chest, we probably would just go down, grab the power, and go to it that stairs. But really enjoy relying on our champions more than powers right now. And the Inquisitor is normally easier, so let's actually head up here. Uh, we like blocking with our Pike. This would help him level up way faster, though. Because four extra damage, that is a lot. Yeah, I think we actually might get this, although it would also increase how fast Kale levels up as well. Strike, draw one, and when I'm summoned, draw one. We are somewhat struggling with draw at the moment. So sure, I think we'll be a little bit safer and go ahead and go here. Not want to use all of our rerolls, but also we're really liking the extra copy of the champion we're getting. All right, healer, we don't necessarily want to cut a card because of our stacked against them. So we'll just grab the heal, that's fine. And the Inquisitor. All right, let's get rid of this and even the Aspect of Justice. Uh, I think we can hold on to the other two. Alright, so we could play Kale. But we don't really need the heal at the moment. And we can still rank her up without having her on the board. All right. Uh, yeah, let's increase this cost. That's more difficult. All right, still got our Lurk off. Perfect. So we can get our Pike on the board. Don't really want our Sharkling to die. But we could play this with a random follower. Uh, yeah, I think let's just keep increasing that. Huh. All right, not too bad. All right, so we could play our Kale. Sure, let's go for it. Spare the innocent, punish the wicked. Yeah, Frostbite, not too surprised. All right, so we're going to play our Bloodbait. We're going to miss out on the unit that summons. Not that big of a deal, though. Yeah, that looks 
pretty good. Let's go for it. Uh, we'll save this for next round so we can try to get our Lurk off once more. Let's actually buff this up. Because killing their Unbound is pretty nice. Perfect. Holy fire, burn away the darkness. All right, that'll be game. GG. All right, so far things are going pretty well. Uh, warning shot, not bad. We already have Bone Skewer though. I think I'd rather just go with this. Mind Meld, don't really want to use up our health and we don't want to lose cards actually because stacked against them so even though it won't be the best for us i think let's go down here man that was a sad gold chest all right scar mother uh this looks actually pretty solid hopefully we draw our pike but still good this one will be a little tough because if we don't kill their units they're just gonna get so many stats Yeah, I think let's just drop our Sharkling. Fight or die. Oof, I don't like either one of those. Do we want a Swarm at the top of our deck? Uh, it could be Pike at the top of our deck. But we'll draw two. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this here. Yeah, this isn't great. But we're not going to be doubling that much by blocking this one. And I think we'll just take the hit for the rest, sadly. Alright, so we could draw our Kale... But I think I would rather drop this here. The winter's claw strikes. So our strongest unit would start a free attack, which sadly isn't our Sharkling. Eh, let's still go for it. I think let's just keep putting on the pressure. If we could kill all their units, that would be amazing. So they potentially will be able to survive. Yeah, I don't want them... Well, <laughs> it's so difficult. Yeah, we'll just attack with everything we have. Well, other than this one, do as much damage as we can. Okay, they're blocking with everything. That's decent.
Okay, wonderful. The biggest issue with Scar Mother is letting their units stay on the board and just keep scaling up. So many tiny. Alright, I guess let's drop our Kale. Well, damage, not really thrilled by that. So yeah, I think let's just put this one there. All right, let's try to get our Lurk off. We could really use our Pike. So we could play this. It would go up to that five for the life steal and overwhelm and elusive. But I think we could do this here. So she would go up to eleven. Yeah, I think let's attack like this. They're out of mana. They might block with their scar mother, and we could use divine judgments. So let's attack like this. All right, perfect. So they're two big units gone. Yeah, we're kind of running out of cards, but doing well so far. Uh, let's actually play this. Man, I don't really want them to use either one of these. I guess we'll increase the cost of that, but they might play their veteran now. Alright, so this can't actually block anything without dying. That's a little sad. You are unworthy. Uh, we could block and kill this, though, which would be worth it. Yeah, I think we just need to take that hit, unfortunately. Alright, so now we know everything that they have. And we have an elusive. Well, lifesteal elusive. On wings of fire, hope ascends! Alright, let's try to play some stuff. Could potentially attack and end the game, though. Probably shouldn't have put that on our top deck because now it's gonna... Oh, it's gonna mess with our Lurk. Oh well, this should be a game. GG. Alright, that Titanify is pretty amazing. Like, the Rally's good, Bone Skewer is good, but Titanify, Lifesteal, Elusive, Overwhelm. Yeah, that'll be quite helpful. Alright, Slot Bot. Alright, fine, 30 gold. Don't really want to spend more, though. Doubling Dice might be pretty good. Man, 60 gold for Farsight? On our champion? I'll take it. Uh, Nab 1... When you play a card, give me 1-1 one, one this round. Play a spell, grant me 1-1. One, one. We're not playing... Well, sometimes we're playing a decent amount of spells, actually. Kind of hit or miss. Yeah, we can grab that. The nab is kind of funny. Especially because we're normally going to have multiple of these. We should probably re-roll and get something better, though. Oh, man, a 1-cost Iceborne. That's really tempting. It is 90 gold, which is a little rough, but I think let's grab it. Let's do one reroll here. 
Oh man, this... Okay, going down to a three cost. Yeah, we'll grab that and we're now broke. Emperor's Guard, item chest, or heal. All right, Orn and all things grow cold. All right, we'll get rid of the bone sewer, I think, but we can play this round one now, which is gonna be crazy. So yeah, let's go ahead and drop this. Hey, you smell something burning? Uh, let's... Ah, uh, no, this doesn't have free att or quick attack or anything. Yeah, we'll just attack like this. That way we can get our pike on the board. Once long ago, he stoked a fire beneath the mountain. Divine absolution is an end to their enemy. A good fight, the spice of life. Garlic works in a pit. All right, we'll drop this again. Letting this just both of these buff up our whole board. It's pretty great. Aw. Well, that's lame. Yeah, I guess we'll just take the hit. We'll just heal up next round. Not a big deal. Stick around, good friends. Just wanting to build out our board so they get more units hit with the uh, buff. Uh, we'll save this for next round. All right, let's try to get our Lurk off. Let me focus. You knew this was coming. Really wonder if they're going to do like a frostbite or something. I bear your soul. Because if not, things are about to get really bad for them. Ah, uh, that's a little annoying. But we were planning on doing this a little bit differently. Somebody draw. Oh man. No, oh, if only we could play him again. All right, GG. Well, we don't need the heal anymore. Game start. Summon me from your deck. I mean, most of our decks are already gonna have a lurker, and we actually don't want. To lose the board space we need the full board so i think we'll just grab this here all right epic champion yeah that's pretty good we'll take that all right lissandra uh, let's actually get rid of pretty much all of these we have a lot of other cards you'd rather have in our opening hand like a lot of these so pretty good Just attack like this. 
get our lurk effect off, some early damage, and this will start buffing up our entire board, which I guess, right, it's also allies in hand as well. Ages past, I remain. All right, we will play this to get our lurk effect off. They look angry. Let's try to silence him, because I think we could probably kill him. Hmm. None of those are really good for us, but okay. Alright, we'll just uh, pass. Don't really want to get this unit lower, and we normally will be able to heal up, so it won't be that big of a deal. Granted, we're probably going to get entombed. Alright, so we'll drop this here. I think if we drop Kale, she would immediately get entombed. Could do that. They wouldn't be able to play another Lissandra immediately. And it put it on the top of our deck. So yeah, I think that's decent. Be able to level up now. So far, things are going okay. Granted, it is Lissandra. They have stuff like Barry and Ice that they very much. Okay, they have enough mana to play it right there. Together, we will rid this world of corruption. All right, they might be able to kill some of this, but want to keep our Nexus health pretty high. They know if they'd have like an ice shard to somewhat nuke down our board. Oh, we got got Kale again. All right, this next round, I think we're just going to open attack. They're going to have enough mana for Buried in Ice, and I do not want that to happen. Holy fire! Burn away the darkness! Granted, they also have burst speed frostbites, so there is that as well. Nothing's tougher than a troll! Interesting. So this could give us, like, a little bit more damage. In radiance. All things grow cold. Huh. Well, that's good. Uh, let's actually play this here. So, if we just draw our our one card that puts a Lurker at the top of our deck, we win. Bloodbait or something like that? Oh, I guess they have that tough, but I think it'd still be enough, yeah. Alright, so we potentially just won. GG. All right, that was a pretty awesome run with Pike. I know often the more unit focused decks can really struggle, but with Pike, it will put on a lot of that aggression early, worked out pretty well, and we were pretty smart in our approach, avoided a lot of the challenges or fights that would more counter our uh, play style. Also, Lissandra didn't have I'm Inevitable, so that helps.
Overall, though, pretty fun and great run. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely like and subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day.